Look, doing some welding there, Tucker. Did it with the one hit, bub. Oh! <laughs> When this installing is... your seals, it's always good to make sure that it stops the rod. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. Oh, God dang, <laughs> Mason. That's good. Shut her down. They got the booby off. Tucker with the one tip, bub. Oh! <laughs> Penetrate I don't know, I don't know who loaded that, but I'm not going to even question it. <laughs> we might have to repair that. <laughs> and a whole lot of other things. That's pretty. Alright, welcome back to CNC Equipment's YouTube channel. You guys have uh, seen a couple clips of this thing rolling in here. It's another uh, ex-military D7F we got in here. It uh, come into us all running and dirty and it's kind of mm -hmm. unusual to be dirty and running, right? Mm -hmm. They are actually using this thing to push a little dirt or something. I don't know what they were doing with it, but I'll throw a few clips in here. Uh, before Randy took it out and washed it, but it's uh, all dirty, but it's got a few issues. It's got the leaky cylinders you guys can see going on there. Uh, the tilt cylinder wasn't leaking too bad, a little bit damp. We're going to go ahead and pull these apart and get some new seals for them. Um, we've got an issue. Steering control, I think it's uh, is it left-hand steering clutch or right-hand steering clutch. Is right steering clutch I think there's something messed up under the the uh, dash up here we got pulled apart and see so uh, I know another thing is the big old radiator is leaking it's kind of corroded up here at the bottom I'll show you that here in a second but uh, it runs good everything works good on so it's kind of amazing we got a track it's loose over here I don't know if we got a track adjuster seal out we may be fixing that here later on in the video but uh, first thing we're gonna get done here this afternoon is to get the cylinders apart but you guys can see that lower radiator is not in too good a shape, so probably gonna have to source a new one, one of those, so it's gonna be fun. So first thing we're gonna do is take the tilt cylinder. It's actually the only one that's not really leaking, but that seal's old and dry looking, so probably need to be proactive and replace That's right. So I'm gonna start this thing up here. We'll suck this uh, tilt cylinder back a little bit, then we'll kind of stand this thing straight up and uh, pull it apart that way, so. You, Mason. Pressure's on. Fourth quarter, bub. Can you do it? You better hold on to that. It's gonna take you around to the pound town. Pound town. <laughs> go, Mason. Go. You did a good job. And take these cylinders out too. We got Kevin's got the lines off of it. Gotta get the pins knocked out.
It's all you, Mason. Up a little bit, Mason. Oh. Up a little bit. Easy. Up, up slow. Drive in a little bit. Yes, Kevin. Kids, Kevin. You feel good about yourself? He's smiling. It's okay. Put your glasses on. Safety third. Because you got two it. eyeballs. Now you can go home and tell your girlfriend that you took off a two and three eighths nut, Mason. Woohoo! Go, Be Mason, go! Go, Mason, go! When this installing your seals, it's always good to make sure that it stops the rod. Pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. Huh, that's weird. That's where it's leaking, Mason. Right there. Take that off there, Mason. Go, Mason, go! Go, Mason, go! Action shot. Man, you did a good job. Now we need to get this rod out of the way and get another one. That means loosen the bicep, Mason. Two of two. ka -chow. Oh, look at this man. He's a man. I put it on girl mode for him. Oh. Oh, he's looking at it on camera. <laughs> you want to you want to swell, huh? You mm -hmm. swole, bub? You swole? Sure. Swell up like a turkey. We gotta do another one. All right. While well, waiting on a few seals, Mr. Mason is putting all the filters in this thing. Got air, hydraulic transmission, engine, fuel, all that good stuff. So he's gonna get busy in that. You guys have seen us do that a million times. Also got a transmission pressure gauge the one that's in there is uh full of transmission oil so i'd say it's bad but uh he's gonna get all the fluids changed on this dude while we're waiting on seals and then uh probably back we get the seals we'll get those gear if not we're gonna start working on that radiator let's talk me into taking the radiator out mr kevin's over there painting on a bulldozer he's been busy taking floorboards off changing all his fluids like i said we gotta get some pedals freed up we're getting a little bit stiff what's up Pretty clean old tractor. It's had a rebuild in uh, May of 2000. So I went through a government overhaul. It's probably when this motor got replaced. I'm guessing the hours. Was it 716 hours since then? So we're going to get this hood yanked off here. We'll get the little front hood off. We got to take a whole bunch of 916 bolts out, Mason. Are you ready to get the fume extractor off? Yep. That's what Caterpillar calls this, is a fume extractor. I even got you a new one in a box because this one's all dented. All right, the exhaust pipe is rusted on there. As I told you guys, we're going to replace it, so I'm going to cut it off. 
right above here then we'll probably put a slice in it or something like that and we'll work it off there that way Got that off, we're gonna take these headlight brackets off and get this little short front hood off. Alright, so I think I remember we did this on a D7G, which is pretty much the same. We gotta take this plate loose from the radiator. It actually holds the radiator and the fan shroud and all that good stuff, but I think it will stay there then we'll unbolt the radiator and we should be able to pull the radiator out and leave that shroud everything sit there if i remember right so um we got a lot of bolts to take out mason we get all those out and uh we'll bring you guys back in we just got mount bolts here on the top looks like fun times all right been getting most of the mount bolts out we do have to take this front lower belly pan off i did forget about that Mason's grabbing the forklift, but we got a couple mounts over there. We need to get that lower radiator hose. So we're going to go ahead and take it off. Fortunately, it's sticking over the pit, so we don't have a real good way to grab it. So I put some boards down. We're going to put a big strap around here. Try to lower it down easy. And we should be about ready to come out after we take the radiator hose off and a couple bolts. Ready to go down? That works. That's why we put boards down. Okay, Mason, let's unhook you and get you out of the way. Alright, we got her chained up. We're going to try to pick this dude up. It did have a lifting hole here. It's 5 8, so we run a tap in and clean it up. But the holes, thread's getting pretty rusty. I don't trust it, so we lift this up and put some bolts under here. You ready, Mason? Let's pick her up a little. Don't you tilt it down a little bit? All right, now go up. Yeah, going up a little bit. Tilt it back to you a little bit. Tilt it back a little. Now go straight up, straight up, and 
big bars falling out. You catching over there? You go down and tilt it back a little bit. going keep going why don't you drive towards me a little bit yeah drive forward about a half inch a little bit more yeah can I go up Whoa, whoa. Need side shift to that way. Drive in a little bit. Oh, put your forks down. I go up. Down, James Brown. Down, 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 bub. <laughs> I don't want to be here when that 22 foot fan gets hit. <laughs> Where you been all the time? Bob, I've been working. You are kind of looking a little bit yellow. You got yellow shoes, yellow skin. That's good, Mason. You missed all the fun. Oh, God. Yeah, I know what you're doing. You're just laying in that dozer holding the paint gun wide open. Mason, what do you got in here? It looks like chocolate milk. Oh yeah. Okay. Fun times have commenced. That thing's leaking. I showed you guys earlier. It's corroded up. We gotta buzz all these tanks off, Mason. Probably pick it up. We'll take that bottom tank off first. Bottom 9 16th headed bolts. Make sure our tanks are good. We've got a new core sitting over there. I am waiting on some gaskets. Got to make sure the core is the right one too. So we're going to take, they got a top and a bottom tank here. We're going to take those off. 
and try to just replace the core. We got a brand new core sitting over here in this magical cover. Hopefully it's the right one and we'll find out. This thing weighs 50 pounds. I think it's just gonna fall off there, huh? We need a hammer, Mason. I don't wanna let go. Put it on the side a little bit. Ooh, I know what Papa Randy needs to see. Hmm. 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 Well, let's get one of those two by sixes, Mason. We'll set it straight down the floor right here. And we'll take the top loose. Two by six. That's yummy. Mason, what are we working on here? Brownie Sunday? Oh yeah. So this is the uh, pressure relief valve, like a radiator cap on a car. That is full of caca. Did a raccoon live in here? Just like Kevin did. It actually still works, believe it or not. Nothing to see here. That's good. Last one. Oh, Mason's got a little upage on it. How about some down, Mason? Just tilt it down. Go ahead and get in your forklift because you're going to pick her up. Don't let it eat me. This thing's sharp. Tilt her forward. All right. You ready to go up? Up, Charlie Brown. Straight up. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I see nothing wrong here, folks. Back her up out of her way. So, you think this would run hot or anything? I think they've been filling it full of water out of the creek. Mercy, mercy. We're going to have to give that engine a good flush, ain't we? Yeah. Those are little rocks, aren't they? Yeah, it's calcium. Mm -hmm. What happens with your older stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. Your shoestring. Good times, good times. Yeah. Do you think Mason knows what we're trying to film? Aren't you done making noise? Yep. Kevin's up here with this dueling deep creeps we got from a super subscriber. So I said earlier in this video, this thing would not, uh, wouldn't turn and right very good. You guys see right here, we've got a pin that's walked out. It's been banging on the dash here. That's probably why. It won't turn to the right, if I'm guessing. And just got a cotter pin that's walked out, I guess. Probably needs some deep creep, you know? Here I come, bub. Hey, Mr. Deep Creep. We need some deep creep right there. Oh, are you going to get it? Oh, look at those skills. Oh, you see that? Man, you didn't even need a hammer. You're such a man. There you go. Well, that was too what easy. deep creep? Just really crept it out. Is that what it was? Yeah. Get the cotter pin in there, you'll be doing good. Tucker's over here cutting the plate out. We got an idea to flush out that engine. Later on, Kevin's bidding the cotter pin over on national television. How's that helping you? <laughs> when we get that in there, we're going to start looping up pedals. We got stick and brake pedals. I thought you one. told me it was an inch and a quarter. Well, I'll say it was before I bent it. It's just enough. It right? was a guesstimation. I figured no. you'd bring me back a three inch long one. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to get these pedals working. You guys can see that one's stuck down. That one's coming back like it should. I remember last time we did this, I think I caught your leg hairs on fire. Yeah, yeah I remember that. That was a good time. Oh, this hey, is so much coming. better now, it actually works. Oh. 
All right. Hope that fixed our steering issue. Boy, you're doing good. We should start selling these. Oh, yeah. What kind of exercise machine does that used to look like? Hey, look, it come back. Don't mind that one. Look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. Kick it down farther. No. Oh. Look at this. Oh. Hey, I got it to move, so it's got to be. Oh, yeah. There's third. Oh. I think she's been. It's a ratchet shifter. We'll go. Slap shifter. It slaps back. That's under the seat. Okay. We're getting there. Alright. There we go. Hey, who's closing off my dual dragons? Oh, we're getting a little weak on the spray. Oh, that one's full. It's this one. It's in that sleeve, ain't it? We want these joints over here. Last time we did this, it does better when it's running. Right? It does. It's moving better now. Okay, I think that's good. I know the winch controls work. I did try that. We'll wait till it's running for that. Too bad we can't sing on camera. Yeah. yeah. As long as it's not original, you can sing all you want. Under the seat. <laughs> Under the seat. That's not how it Hey, goes. Bob. We're gonna start a second channel. We're just gonna do good corny karaoke. What is Americans got no talent with Kevin? <laughs> 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 All right, Kevin's tightening up the track here. I'm not sure if we got a track still leaking or not. So the only way we're gonna know is to uh, pump it up, and later on we get everything else back together. We'll uh, make it moving. Yep. See it walking forward there. We'll have to drive around and see if it stays put. If I have any inkling that it does not, we'll take it apart, put some new seals in it. Been there before. Hey, Bubby. I don't think it's moving. Uh, <coughs> Are you getting sick? I was trying to figure out. If so right now you're here. you're just pumping grease into you know probably a bliss. I'm gonna guess that this is not working. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this here. Pretty sure when we move it, that arrow's gonna disappear. It's been back in that hole a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, almost like that's where it belongs. <laughs> oh boy. I think I even hear it moving going back. Is that other one always is? That's just my belly. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, my guess is that seal's probably out of there. Well, we've replaced these in the tractor without busting track apart, so we may do that later on. But we gotta get some cylinders back in and waiting on a gasket for the radiator. Uh, Mason took the tank back. Had Randy wash it out. The tank looks excellent. These are great big heavy cast steel tanks. Looks all good. Things like a half inch stick. He's going to run a tap through all these holes, retap those back out. Three eighths are all nice and clean. But uh, yeah, as soon as our gasket shows up, we'll put this new core in there, open it up. It does look like it's right. So, you know, a nice new radiator for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, Mason's over tapping out holes on the radiator tanks. Um, Tucker made us a little plate here to block off that radiator hose. You can see we got to plug it. I'm going to take the pressure washer here and uh, try to fill that engine up, get some of that stuff washed out of there, and wash some of this stuff out here too while we're waiting. We're waiting on the gaskets and a couple seal kits yet. We've got the uh, lift cylinders resealed. we got to put those back in here, but I'm going to get this washed out here first.
What are you doing there, Mason? Taking the upper radiator hose off? Yep. We got a thermostat in there. We're gonna pull out so I can get some water washed down through the engine. How's that looking? That's nasty looking. Clean that up and we'll probably make sure that works too. Okay. Alright, we got a plug pulled out of the oil cooler down there. Trying to drain it out. It's actually pretty clean inside here. You guys can see in there, but. It's uh, coming right out real good. So. Alright, Mr. Mason's going to undo the plug. There on the front of the motor and that plate that Tucker made. And all that goodness out. It's actually not that bad a lot. It was just laying in the radiator tank. But a little chocolate milky. We're going to keep on doing that a few more times and hopefully get it rinsed out. All right, we got good clean water coming out. We flushed the thing three or four times. It's, uh, it's really clean inside of here. As you guys can see, it almost looks brand new inside of here. So really impressed with that. This thing ought to be like a new one with a new radiator here. So this thing here we're draining out is actually transmission oil cooler. We've got transmission lines that go in there and feed a cooler, but it's a low point drain on the block. So we got to replace. We're gonna go ahead and take this hose off here. We're gonna put new rubber on there. Mason's working on the uh, upper hose, getting some new rubber for it. This stuff's not too bad of looking, but it is about 23 years old. So we're gonna replace it while we're in there. All right, been back here checking final drives. Nice clean oil winch has good clean oil in it. We got one more thing. Mason's changed all the other filters. Mason, go ahead and take this off. We've got one more. This is what they call the suction screen filter for the transmission. There's just a metal screen in here with some magnets. So if there's any transmission, the stud come out. Yeah. So if there's any transmission failures or anything like that, we're going to see that here shortly. It's not uncommon to see a little bit of metal on these things. So should be a wavy washer. Yep. Yeah. Over here. bit of stuff on there but nothing out of the ordinary at all so this thing's nice and clean so we'll clean this stuff up put a little brake cleaner on it blow it off there's nothing no big chunks of metal or anything like that at all so I like what we're seeing there we'll clean it up and put that back together all right what are you doing to our toolbox giveaway no, don't you throw me under the bus. You guys don't know we're giving this whole box full of Harbor Freight tools away. Clinton's in a couple months. And over. I got carried away with the super glue, even got it on my cup. What are we working on? Waiting on radiator gaskets. Me and Mason got all that other stuff checked out. We do have most of the seals here for the hydraulic cylinders. Tucker's bringing a couple from town. So we're going to go ahead and get those thrown back in there. After you mess up somebody's toolbox. I'm fixing it. All right, we got uh, got the two lift cylinders resealed already. Tucker's getting a couple seals for the uh, tilt cylinder in town. We got some new seals in those. We're gonna get this stuff put together. What's your camera just say? SD card speed too slow or something? Uh. Oh. How do you like that? That was pretty easy. It was easy. Hmm. How's that going for you? Hmm. Fake it till you make it? Hmm. I got the beaver over here for you. 
Captain Kleeman says Vever. I don't know if it's Vever or Beaver. Beaver? Beaver. Beaver sounds cooler, but I think he might be saying it the right way. I would say the beaver cut. Are you handling it? Careful you don't twist the rod into you. You want me to get Mason over here to do this for you? He likes to smile. That's the wrong way, Set Beaver. Me up. Oh yeah. Might go down with your beaver. Okay. Not even close. A little bit more. Oh. You can't handle it, can you? I was going to go ahead and... Okay, you got uh, her. It's uh, probably right there. Got Loctite everywhere. You're welcome. Here, I got your towel. Alright, there's one. We're going to do another one. And hopefully Tucker shows up with our other cylinder packing kit. Mason, you sure are doing a good job holding that up for us. I think me and Kevin's gonna go take a break. Mm -hmm. All right, we got her all rebuilt. We're ready to go in here. making Papa Randy he's gonna cry when he comes in here and sees it. So all you're doing is trying to upset people. <laughs> all right Mr. Mason got that cylinder all done and we just had some gaskets show up here so uh, we're gonna jump around change gears here 
this video is actually getting pretty long but um, we was going to put the hydraulic cylinders in but i want to leave those out gives us better room to get into that radiator but uh, i know this video is getting kind of stretched out isn't it yep it's about time for mason to go mow grass he just doesn't know it Ooh, yeah so uh we're gonna do a part two to this dude here and i think we have somebody special maybe to uh come check it out so if you guys want to see who that is make sure you stick around and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out that next video is going to be us gluing this big dude together and uh sticking it back in there get the rest of the cylinders in it and uh hopefully our customer shows up here and see if he likes it or not then we're going to see what color we're painting it i hope it's not yellow like somebody thinks he wants who knows but uh anyway we appreciate everybody watching we truly truly do so uh, we'll catch you guys next time oh boy uh -uh. he caught you trash is getting over full papa <laughs> you got caught <laughs> randy what do you think about a guy like that picks on you i don't know i Good told boy. him he's gonna make you cry he's Good. a bully you want to ride him up mason. it wasn't me mason he's mason's out me. mowing grass on his lawnmower Stupid trains. That wasn't even a train. Here comes another one. Choo choo! Now we got a ninja wheelie time. Is that like a 125 Harley? What do you think Mason's gonna say about the wheel horse? Kill it. So you guys seen we bought a wheel horse. <laughs> What's the matter, Mason? Why ain't you mowing? You won't get it stuck. I done sold the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't you mow with it? Okay. Right. Guarantee you won't get that one stuck. <laughs> I done sold the hustler last week on you. Can you not get your wheel horse running, Mason? No. What's the matter with it? Vintage. He likes Vintage. his new mower. Oh, I I guarantee, if you get that one stuck, you just hop off the seat and start shoving on it. You don't need no record truck, Mason. That's right. That thing's wicked. <laughs>